Alrighty folks, and welcome back for Blood and Bones Season 2, Episode uh, 4. Yeah, 4. It's time to uh, knock out the wall, do a little bit of an expansion here, and get room for that smeltery. I honestly uh, logged in and I thought to myself, I'm just going to do a bunch of digging off camera. Yeah, that took me about a minute to remember that these flint tools are terrible and that uh, digging with them is just a pain. They're slow and they break all the time and yeah. So back to the smeltery. A um, couple things I did want to mention about that is I, here it is, I leveled up this pickaxe and it got reinforced on it. So reinforce is probably the worst thing you can get because you actually want um, auto repair and once you've got auto repair it really doesn't matter you know much at all about the overall durability. So I have switched out to that other pickaxe, my original one, and we'll see what that will level up as. Um, I have also cra uh, crafted up all the seared bricks, cooked up all those grout them into seared bricks and uh, got some of the cobblestone cooked into co to real stone and then made some uh, stone bricks. So I don't have a ton of these yet and I think what I'm going to do is just expand this to be big enough for the smeltery basically. So I'm going to want kind of a little spot here for it. So it's got to be well, it is physically going to be five wide. Oh, well, yeah, right. Whoops. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm probably going to want one or two more than that. Here you go. You can see just how lovely this is. It's, it's, it's just so slow. I mean, if you dig in three or four blocks or six blocks like this, not a big deal. But if you're actually down there trying to mine quite a bit, it is just terribly slow. Okay, and we're going to want it at least five deep, probably a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go about there. Um, and if I can just get a too tall area, then I'll go ahead and throw. How much do I have left? This stack plus one more. Yep, so this is going to be just about it. Um, I'll throw one more layer of dirt on it and probably throw a dirt uh, roof on it for the moment. I don't have enough brick to do the whole thing in brick, obviously. But as long as I can keep the mobs from getting in here, oops, then I can uh, get the smeltery started and start getting some tools going and all that. Is, did I do it just perfect? I did. Well, sort of. I mean, yeah. All right, so like I said, we'll go ahead and do the old dirt roof here. And the other thing I'm actually out of pretty much is torches, uh, as well as coal, because I used up what coal I had to cook up this um, stone brick. So I'm going to need to get some more coal, but I also, if there's a rubberwood tree nearby, I thought, well, let me grab another rubberwood tree, because remember we can double our torch yield by using some of the rubber. Hmm. I don't see one. Re oh, here we go. They have these slightly different, more, slightly more green leaves and a little bit more uh, kind of rounded, I guess. They look pretty close to oak trees, but not quite the same. Okay. So, um, I'll use this up, get a few more torches. You know, the other thing I guess I can do is maybe I'll go back to that roguelike, roguelike castle dungeon thing and steal oh cheers um steal the torches that are over there too that's an idea but uh yeah so let's get back inside again well that's actually there's a fair amount of day left um let me actually try to finish the oh, and it's raining again it you know i don't even know if that's like a, an option that somebody can set in a config somewhere but at least in this game, it has been raining just all the dang time. I know Batch uh, made that weather collector in his series, and he says that thing, you know, he, he basically just never runs out of water now. 
And I get it because, wow. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> uh, let's try here and here. Ah, oh, just enough. Okay, cool. It's kind of dark though. Let's put the last one right there. Oh. I can probably move this over now, but it's... That's weird. Why is that yellow? That means that it can only spawn during the... Oh, it's getting light from here. From the doorway, I guess? Hmm. Yellow means it can only spawn during the night, because sunlight will light it during the day. Oh, yeah, by the way. Um, farm. Bam. Well, you guys already saw me make the uh, Matic, and uh, I just went ahead and farm planted that. I figure I'll get that started. And just for anybody who isn't aware, pretty much any of these berries and even like regular wheat and stuff, you just put that in your crafting, you get the seeds. So that's how you really get seeds in this pack. You can get some seeds by breaking uh, grass, but if you want specific ones, then that's a good way to do it. So for instance, this chip... Well, this comes off a tree. Okay, so that's different. That's going to have to be combined with a tree. Yeah, with a oak sapling and then we could get a cherry sapling and we can plant that. Uh, yeah, let's just leave that in there for the moment. Okay, so this is good. I think what I'll do is let me just do a little bit of the crafting on camera here and then give me a little while and I'm going to put this thing together, get it all centered and we can check it out when I come back. I think. Uh, but basically if we go to the at tink or Tinker's Construct. We're going to need to make a bunch of these dark black things. We're going to need the smeltery controller, the smeltery drain, the seared bricks, the seared... Uh, no, not seared, sorry. And a tank. There we go, seared tank. And I made up just a little bit of glass. I need to go get more sand because I'm completely out now. Um, but the base is going to be 3x3, three three, so that's 9. Here's 8. Uh, why is that... Oh, nice... Nice little glitch. Uh, it only showed one, but there's eight. And we get our mighty smelting book, yay. Uh, we're going to need lots of stuff. Let's see, we're going to need one of these. Casting basin. We're going to need one of these, which is the drain. We're going to need a faucet to get things out of the drain. We're going to need um, the tank, which is going to... Oh, okay. The smeltery controller is that. And then if we do that again with the glass, I believe we get the tank? No. Let's look up the tank. Where is it? Seared brick. Oh, dirt. Uh, yeah, it is that. It's just I grabbed the seared bricks instead of seared brick, of course. Okay, so that's the basic components. Now I'm going to need probably another... Well, I need at least nine of these, and I'm sure I need well, several more. But let, like I said, let me go ahead, get off camera, and I'll start um, putting this together, get it centered up, figure out exactly where I want it to go, and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty, folks, and we're back. It is more than halfway through the day, but there have been zombies and creepers and things all over the place. This this guy jumps. He keeps jumping like straight up in the air and trying to get to me. Uh, I had to run away and actually, yeah, see, he, I don't think, well, so far he hasn't made it on the roof, but he just jumps like straight up. I actually had to run over there to get away from him. I want to go get that lava because I have the smeltery ready to smelt the things, but these creepers are not being nice about all about things. So let's see. No, th there were I don't know at least half a dozen uh, zombies, and I think there was a special mob that was giving them healing because they did not want to despawn. All right, I'm actually going to sprint for a second, which is typically bad, but. Mobs usually just spawn a ways away from you. So I think if I get here, then the lobber won't be able to spawn again. That's what I'm hoping. Because if that guy spawns, all bets are off. But look at that. There we go. So I think if you're, you know, I was up on the hill, that's what, 25 blocks plus or something like that. 
and that lets the stuff spawn up over here and of course because there was all that lava there that let a lava spawn but there we go we got our first block uh, of lava our first clay bucket of lava and oh yeah out of all those um, zombies oh there goes the light uh, I was gonna grab that sugar cane but the lights already going out of all those zombies I got what you saw in my pack there some zombie flesh a couple of apples uh, they were hungry zombies a couple of them so apparently they had eaten or stolen some apples or something and cobalt down there do not trust those guys uh, and a an iron ingot which is awesome because that means I can skip the copper pickaxe completely and go straight to an iron pickaxe. I'm trying to be careful because I there were a, like I said a ton of creepers and stuff over there and yeah anyway okay so look at it it's a beautiful smell well sort of beautiful smell tree uh, it's only first level high I did oh that is stone brick lighting glitch breaks it so you can't even see that I put stone bricks back there but you can't even see them Oh well. Uh, yeah, these are only stairs I had. I went ahead and put the base layer on the grass instead of sinking it in like I have before. Because what that lets you do is get your um, your drain up a level right off the bat. And these will be at, at floor level. And I stuck some stairs around it. All I've got right now, of course, is the cobblestone stairs. But hey, I think this is going to work out. Let's throw in our very first bucket of lava. And yay, we have a smeltery. Um, with a piece of dirt in it. Anyway, so I need to start by making some aluminum brass so that I can make up the different pieces. I'll probably do most of this off camera. I mean, I think most people have seen this. I'm, I'll, I'll save just like one little bit to do on camera. Now, I've got nine aluminum and I've only got three copper. I you know, I'm down at the sweet square, well, supposedly where the sweet spot for copper is, but I'm, my luck is just not good right now. Uh, so I need aluminum brass. I can either look it up in NEI, or we can go into the Mighty Smelting book. Oh, look, I'm learning to tinker, yay. And this should tell us how to make it. Here we go. So three aluminum, one copper. Nice. Um, so I'm going to make up some of that. And I'm going to get some casts ready to go. Uh, the way to make the casts, of course, is we make some stone parts over here, and then we pour them out over here. And I'll do one of those on camera for you, in case you haven't seen that before. And I'll be back in a little bit once I've got that all organized and ready to start pouring off some of this aluminum brass. Well, I guess, you know what? Let's put this in. What do we say? Three aluminum to one copper. Let's start there. Um... I may need a second set, but I'll get that cooking. All right, be back in a few. All righty, folks, we're back. And I just wanted to show you guys something real quickly. I have eight ingots of aluminum brass. I've used up six aluminum and one copper, which doesn't make a lot of sense because it's supposed to be three aluminum to one copper. But what's going on right now in the 1.1.1 pack is some of the um, metals double in the smeltery and some don't. Previously everything doubled. But if you hit U on an ore and then click on the back one, it'll say if you put this in the smeltery, don't worry about the temperature, uh, as long as you're using lava, that doesn't matter, you will get 144 millibuckets. And that is one ingot's worth. So if I put aluminum in the smeltery, I get one ingot's worth. If I put copper in the smeltery, so hit U again and hit the back arrow, if I put copper in the smeltery, I get 288. So copper is still doubling but um, aluminum is not and I think Yamas actually intends for nothing to double but at the moment um, let's see aluminum actually comes from Tinker's Construct so it's behaving properly it's not doubling this is thermal expansion ore not Tinker's Construct ore and it is misbehaving so uh, just be aware of that and in the future that may change I expect it probably will change. Okay, so I've made up a whole bunch of uh, stone tool parts and I've got all the aluminum brass in there. Let's make up some casts and then we can actually 
uh, make some tools. So I'm going to need a tool rod cast because remember the wooden tool rods suddenly suck. Uh, they have a 0 0.5 modifier on them. We don't want that, so we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Okay, so get that out of there. Let's get a. Um, so I've got eight. Let me see. I got yeah. I got enough for everything on my bar except this one, which is the one I just did. All right. So I got just enough for all that. Oh, and I do want an ingot cast, which means I'm either gonna need to do a little bit more. Or I'm going to need to not do one of these below. Hmm. Well, I kind of want all the things below. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. I'm going to end up with one extra ingot of copper because, of course, that's going to double. But that's okay. Actually, I'm going to need the copper. Uh, actually, I need to put probably both copper in because I'm going to need the copper for making tools. Yeah. All right, sword blade, let's go. And a stone handguard. Um, I'm going to go with the, the, the long sword. Seashow has shown me the way. The, the ability to jump multiple blocks high using your sword early on is pretty powerful stuff. Now, I also like the ability to block uh, like a normal Minecraft sword would have, and you can do that with the broad sword. But... Um, yeah, I, I, I definitely like, okay, let's see where we at here. Yeah, okay. I definitely like the, uh, what, do I have the right name? Is it, yeah, Longsword. Longsword's ability to lunge or lets you jump really far. And that's pretty powerful stuff for early game. Oh, I need to put that iron ingot in there too so that I can make up the thing. Now, oh, hey, I can just use that. Uh, you can use a seared brick for this as well, but basically if you put an ingot in here and you put your aluminum brass on the bottom, then you can get an ingot cast. And then if you use that ingot cast, it will allow you to um, pour out different dealios. Uh, ingots of whatever's in here is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so actually no, I want to throw the iron ingot in there. I'm going to make an iron pickaxe head because then I'll be able to mine iron level. Yay! Uh, normally you would make a copper one at this point and then you would have to go mine 200, probably more than that actually. You would have to go mine until you got your boost XP or if you get a zombie skeleton or creeper head or enderman head. And I thought I had one. That must have been my other game. I don't have one. Uh, but anyway, you could put that on there on a copper pickaxe and that would boost it. Or you could get lucky and get an iron ingot like I did and um, then you can go straight to iron. Now you're still going to have to boost this to go to the next tier. But this is going to let me skip a tier. And there are, I think it's like 11 tiers now instead of 7. So there are quite a few tiers to go through here. Okay. So here's our iron ingot. Let's put that on the bottom. Click on it to get it down to the bottom there. And then I want that as my pickaxe head, my one and only iron ingot. That's going to be just great. We're going to grab that guy. Um, let's see. I don't have a trash can yet, but you know what? All these stone parts, I don't need you anymore. Um, actually, I made stone parts for the other two swords, and then I don't have, didn't have quite enough, so I got rid of those. So I want these two, and I'll make those up off camera because that's not not really the point right now. Okay, so do I have some copper? Yes, three copper. Now I'm going to want a tool rod. Copper tool rod, because the stone one is terrible. And the binding I could change out, but it's not going to make any difference. Um, if you make the binding out of something that's got a uh, particular property on it, like I think Damascus has reinforced on it, then that will give your tool reinforced. But it's not going to change the speed or the durability or uh, anything like that. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to do an upgrade to this guy. So let's get a piece of flint, which I don't have any made up. Oh, here's one. Just remember, we have to fully repair this first. So let's fully repair. Actually, it always fully repairs now, so 
You just have to do do your repair, at least at this level it does. Yay, and then I'm going to put on the pickaxe head. We're going to go from 75, mining speed 2, mining level mining speed 2. God, that's terrible. Uh, we're going to go from that to 175, mining speed 6, mining level iron. Yes, please. And then we're going to put the copper tool Oh, Yamas. You, he nerfed this one too. This this used to be like a 1.3 or something um, modifier. Now it's 0 0.7. So, okay. The wooden one is 0 0.5. This is 0 0.7. It's still going to be a little bit better, but not nearly as uh, good as I was expecting. So, okay. Or this is going to up the durability from 1.75 to 244. Hey, you know what? I'll take it. That's cool. And notice the boost XP is now uh, 300 instead of, I think it was 225 before required. And actually saying that, let's, uh, let's mine a block because sometimes these change once you've mined a block. Oh, yep, 525. So really, if you want to boost it, or, uh, well, I'm saying boost, I'm thinking of leveling XP, but they both get bigger the better your tool is. So the copper and iron one is going to take more to boost than the uh, the basic flint one. But of course it's also going to mine a lot faster, so there you go. Alright folks, I think... Yeah, I want to make a couple more things. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's make the... Uh, yeah, let's make a sword. So what do I need to make the long sword? I need... I should know this. I need a sword blade, the handguard, and a tool rod. Of course I do. Um, you know what? I'm not planning on going outside and fighting anything, and I'm about to get a bunch of iron. So let me go get a bunch of iron, and then I will come back, and I'll make some more stuff and upgrade some more tools. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense right now to upgrade to... Uh, copper when in just a, just a bit I'm going to be able to upgrade that again to, uh, to iron and maybe even past iron we'll see let me think about that a minute all right uh, it's close to end of an episode but I will come back at least and make that sword real quick and then go from there this may just explode at my farm no oh hey look wheat right click don't left click right click to harvest the wheat has grown couple of them. These guys? Not so much. You know, I'm just curious. I know I said I was going to sign off a second ago, but now I'm curious. Let's look at the old strawberry and take a look at the seed, and it says grows best in forest and plains. Well, we're in, I think, forest here, right? Yes. So we're in the right biome for it, but it's uh, quite a bit slower than, than uh, wheat, it looks like. So we'll give them some time. All right, now I really am going to be back in a moment. All right, so back. Yeah, I thought um, you guys have already seen me make a bunch of different stuff. I thought maybe I'd take you down here into the mine shaft because I haven't recorded much of this on camera. Recorded on camera. Haven't done much of this on camera. Um, found a couple little side caves. Found a few things here and there, but not a ton of stuff. And... Well, before I get into that, just over here, I have located Yikes. a lovely, I'm going to hit F7 so we can see a little bit better where we can spawn, uh, a lovely uh, ravine, quite a large ravine. I have not tried to explore it yet. Oh, I see aluminum right there. So um, I will be getting into there and try to light all that up later. I may may do some of that on camera. I haven't done a lot of exploring in this episode uh, series yet. Or actually even the other one. It's really hard to explore in this mod pack, so don't do a lot of that. Okay, so I've taken all the copper and aluminum I've seen so far. I have not been able to mine iron. So I had, what, three copper and nine aluminum. Okay, there's at least three iron. Here's at least a couple iron. Green gas up there. There's, uh, oh, and I put, uh, I put, actually put this down here so that I could repair my flint tools because they were breaking so fast I couldn't barely go anywhere before I had to stop and break tool, uh, repair them again. Here's more iron. There was some green gas in here that I had to burn off. Here's more iron. There's more iron. There's more iron. 
Um, there's more iron. So now, you know, again, I've taken out the copper and aluminum, so whatever was here is gone. But there is a lot of iron down here. And, you know, I kind of went back, I looked at the post, and I looked at where things are supposed to spawn. And this is the right uh, level for iron. Well, it's a little bit high for your, your best iron spawns, but it's pretty good. Uh, it's a good level for iron. It's a perfect level for copper. And it's a little bit low for aluminum, but you should still find plenty of aluminum. Ah, yes. And then I found this, which curves around and then just ends right here. Oh, I missed these. Some silver and some lead, so... Alright, well let's try out the new pickaxe here and see what we can get at oh, That is so much faster. I, I mean, it doesn't look all that fast maybe, but compared to that old flint thing. And can we do iron? Oh, Certus can be done with iron. Oh, yeah. Alright, good. Oh, and the yeah, the reinforced one, by the way, comes from the iron uh, pickaxe head. I think Damascus, I said, has reinforced. I think that's actually reinforced too. I would have to double check that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to just basically run around here, grab all this iron, and then I'll go back up and I will make up a sword or two. I've got enough to make um, a couple of swords probably. And I kind of want to try out the... Uh, well, I kind of want to try all three of them. So the long sword is cool. I've kind of figured that out, or, or Seashow and Batch have shown me over on the multiplayer series. Um, my standard one was always the broadsword so that I could, you know, if a creeper came up behind me, I could quick and right click to, um, to defend myself and cut the damage in half. And then the rapier ignores armor. Or has armor piercing. I don't know if it completely ignores it. And I just went in a circle, didn't I? Okay, how do I get out of here? Let's think about that for a second instead of that. Here we go. No. <laughs> okay, you guys are going to laugh at me. I don't see the exit. Where the heck? Did I dig? This is definitely the bottom. It should be up around to the right. Did I, make, did I dig something and it ended up being too high so I can't jump up it now oh right there I kept thinking I needed to go up more and, and a bigger yeah anyway um well as I was saying oh yeah I want to try that rapier because that should ignore armor and I know like Etons and trolls and stuff have a ton of armor and it gives you a back pedal ability so instead of leaping for hey there's copper Hey, copper, uh, you know what? It's really hard. One, two pieces, okay. Really having trouble finding enough of you. Uh, and the zinc up here is for making brass, which you can make, you know, like brass chests and some stuff, so having some zinc's not bad. It's just not like one of the main materials you want. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I do want to try out the... Wow, that goes really down there deep. Wow, look at that. Nice big iron deposit. Cool. Uh, I do want to try out the backpedal ability, because cracked stone bricks. Why? Oh, I bet you were hitting this roguelike dungeon? That is a long ways if we are. Okay. Uh, well, I'm definitely not getting to that this episode. Uh, but... Maybe I've just found a way into the top, or, you know, kind of a mid-layer of a roguelike dungeon? Not sure. I'll have to figure that out next time, maybe. Um, yeah, so I want to try that backpedal ability, so instead of defending or leaping forward, that one lets you um, jump backwards. So you can kind of get in there, do a lunge, do an attack or two, and then backpedal and get out before they can hurt you. Or something like that. I think, actually, the... Um, the uh, fact that it ignores armor or pierces armor is uh, more interesting to me than the, the backpedal, but I want to give it a try. So uh, once I've got enough materials, I'll make up at least one of each of those swords and we'll give each a try and see what we like. Okay, folks, I think uh, you've seen the the mining tunnels down here. This is going to be just about end of an episode. 
thought I heard an Enderman. Hopefully it's not an Ender Creeper. I hate those things. Be careful where we look. Yeah, Ender something. Oh, there he is. Can I... You know, if the, again, they don't do the too tall thing, so if I look at him here... You're just a regular old enemy. Hey, hey buddy. Yeah, come on up here. Do you teleport? You're good. Teleport right up here. Oh, we hit the water. Once they hit the water, they, uh, they spaz out and just go all over the place. Alright, so at any rate, I'm going to be done for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. I'll catch you later.